It's Matt Pinbill, it's Fan Pass, and I'm here with Jim Atkins, Jimmy Eat World, and it's great to see you, Jim. It's great it's, to be seen. Dude, you know, it's, it's funny. It's great to see you, too. It's been a while. It's been too long. You know, last time we did a thing together, we were, uh, I think we did an album special, Sirius XM. We were hanging uh -huh. out there, yeah, and we are yeah. doing a thing for your new album. We recorded there. Yeah. And I remember, like, the, the famous the disc jockey from the 60s and Cousin Brucey came in there for a minute. He's like a, you know, he's still on their 60s channel, but uh -huh. I remember that day. And we, you know, we actually, as we're by the tour buses, we met at a festival for the first time. And that was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. K-Rock Festival in Jones Beach in Long Island. Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember I ran that. up and he goes, dude, I've been a fan. Because I played Lucky Denver Mint on, on 120 Minutes on MTV, which was very cool. I know, I know, it's so long ago. Great song. Those yeah, harmonies yeah, are great, though, man. When you were laying, layering the vocals on that track, it was, tell me about the chorus part of it, like when you did it that. It was just a, a more is more kind of approach. Yeah. To that. Yeah, just like, like yeah, that sounded good. I mean. Uh, I think a lot in terms of like melody with like singing, so it's yeah. kind of easier to just I don't know. Yeah. Making clarity, we were all into. Uh, we we thought that it, we didn't know when we'd have a chance to make another record yeah. like that again with the studio. That was studio. like Capital, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. At the time. Yeah. So it was just like, hey, I want to try another vocal pass. I got another yeah. idea. Hey, let's rent timpani today. It was, yeah, it was just cool. like, just yeah. like, who knows when we're gonna get, get a chance? It's to good. Do it's this like, again, you know so. what? The more I can, be, the more you can do, the more fun you'll have. I like that yeah. idea, Yucky. Yeah. You don't know if you're gonna get to do it again. I think that's very cool. You should look at every day like that, Matt. Yeah, you got to. Speaking, yeah. I'm looking at it today. You know, speaking of doing tours and, and, and everything that you've done, like coming out of Phoenix, what were the early, what were the early days of shows like for you? Like some with me. The early days of shows for us were yeah. like uh, playing wherever we could, any offer we got. Like yeah. usually uh, uh, at the art warehouse space that was open, the illegal art warehouse space that would be open for nine months and then get shut down. Yeah. <laughs> A lot oh, of those. Oh, that's cool. Though. There wasn't yeah. a whole lot. Like right when uh, I turned, I think, 18 or 19, the, there was a new law that came in to, to play in Arizona where it was like um, a venue had to be either over a certain capacity or sell an X amount of food for it to be um, an all ages type yeah. space. So a lot of the places that we would play sometimes ended up being just 21 and over yeah. like, only because they didn't want to mess around with the expense. and. So that's where you the underage, you do the underage shows yeah. in the art warehouse so that you can get like, kids in as well. Yeah. It was cool. They're unjaded too and they're excited and it was fun, right? It was yeah, good. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm 38 now, but still I, I, I hate playing just bar shows, like 21 and over yeah. shows. It's kind of... Yeah, you want to play for everybody so people yeah. can come in. And, and oh, I remember I remember that. It stuck with me being a kid, you know, like not being able to get into shows I wanted to see and having to stand in the back behind the, the cattle fence, like... Yeah. I think the band is somewhere over there, you know, like that whole thing. It's, yeah. It's just so annoying. We try to avoid that as much as we can. Yeah. I remember I was uh, DJing a, Char a Charlton's gig, and I remember a friend of mine's little brother wanted to see the show, so I let it, he, he snuck him in. He was like 15 to stand in the DJ booth yeah, so he could yeah. actually see, see to watch the show. Right, right. You know? Sometimes, you're, sometimes you get people that are cool, and if you have a, a family member or a friend that's underage. You and others are like, they're, they're, they're hard asses, and they're, yeah, like, and they're like, too freaked out. They're afraid they're going to lose their license and all that. Yeah, stuff, yeah, which yeah, I get. Totally. Well, so, man, so tell me about, it. like, did you grow up in Phoenix or around it? What was it like there, man? I grew up in Mesa, which is a suburb to the east of the Phoenix metropolitan area. Yeah, I love Phoenix. I've had some crazy times there, and good times too. You know, seen some great shows. And yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's it's cool, man. It's it's uh it's really spread out. You know, I mean, there was just so much land there that people, when they were developing it, decided they would go out instead of up. Yeah. And to this day, it's it's like. You know, it takes an hour to get from one side to the other if you're if you're truly going from one side to the other. Yeah. It takes a long time. Do you ever go into Alice Cooper's restaurant, Cooperstown there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think it's a cool place. It's fun. I like yeah, the fact totally. that it's baseball and rock memorabilia inside. Yeah. And he invited me to a show. I, I, I was, I mean, I think Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray was introduced me to him um, at the really? show backstage. Yeah, because he just happened to show up for his Sugar Ray show, and, and Maynard was there from Tool. Speaking uh -huh. of. You know, we came around just because they're all friends, and and then I met Alice, and he invited me. He and his wife invited me down to Cooperstown, so the next day yeah, I yeah. went there, and they bought me lunch. And gave oh, that's me great. Some, some like billion dollars babies and schools out T-shirts. Yeah. It, it was cool, you know. Yeah, but, he uh, seems like a really nice guy. He does a lot of charity work, and yeah, and locally, it's he seems like a really awesome guy. Good dude. Let's talk about Jerome, Arizona, though, because that's where I oh, went yeah. to Maynard's house from you know Tool and Perfect Circle. Yeah, and I don't don't know him personally, but yeah. I know Jerome. But you yeah. know, but. Tell people about Jerome, like being the oldest and it's supposed to be the most haunted city or town yeah, it's in America. Yeah, it's a strange. It's a strange city. I think it was like a. I think mining was it, is its history, and it's it's really just like built on the side of a mountain, and it's it's beautiful. It's really cool. Um, but do you believe all the stories about it being the most haunted town in, in, in America? I don't know. I don't, or you think I don't, that's a tourist thing? I don't. I mean, 
any old hotel is going to have a bunch of ghost stories. It's, well, yeah, like, it's the, good for business. It yeah. is funny because, you know, Maynard was um, joking with me. I went up there and I stayed there and, and it was that restaurant on the top of that, where that yeah, hospital yeah, was, asylum, right? It's now a yeah. hotel, the asylum. The Jerome Grand Hotel. Jerome Grand called, Hotel yeah. now, yeah. And you know, it's funny, when I checked in there, they're like, hey, would you like to watch our uh, Unsolved Mysteries sightings video? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, about people being t killed here and... And go so I'm like, sure, yeah, I'll go to bed watching that. And literally, I took the video and the I put it in. The most haunted room, 302. I'm like, which, which that's room? my room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. And then the funny, the crazy story was the last thing was, which is pretty morbid, but I guess a guy who was a caretaker who hung himself in the lobby. So when I didn't call Maynard for a couple of days after I left Jerome, he calls me. He goes, Matt, what are you doing? What are you hanging out in the lobby? Of course, Maynard's dry sense of humor. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so yeah. Maynard, but I mean, that's that boy, exactly. But that side <laughs> of the mountain thing is crazy, and you're driving up. It's yeah. like pretty amazing. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of places like it. It's it's it's, it's cool. Yeah. What is your, what what other parts of Arizona you recommend to people as well? Oh you know? man, you know, in May we we started this whole uh, record cycle tour with a yeah. small town tour of, of Arizona. We played in. Um, Kind of places like that that are, uh, you know, don't get a whole lot of gigs like Sierra, yeah. Sierra Vista and, and um, Yuma. We played Yuma. Yeah. It's really, it's a great place. It's really fascinating. You know, I mean, there's yeah. you go from like, you know, sea level to seven thousand feet. It's really just the gambit of. Yeah. For you geography nuts out there. Yes. Come to Arizona. Yeah, that's it. It's a beautiful state, actually. I like it a lot, man. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. it's great. But it's good to see you out here. It's really cool to see you, Jim. Yeah, man. You know about the new record, too, man, on RCA, which is really cool, you know, doing your thing. And, yeah, how wild you know, is that? <laughs> I know, it's wild. We're well, still doing it. Capital, right? And then was it DreamWorks? And yeah. then and then and RCA. Well, yeah, yeah. well, it says uh, good things about you. Yeah. People still want love the band and want to see, and they do. And I think that's cool. Like, your fans that are watching right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Man. It's 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 a, it's a pretty wild thing. I think, like, as as a, as we get older and as we, the more, the more off, the longer that we're doing this, I think yeah. the easier it is to just find those little things that, that you can appreciate it and all that. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, check this out. It's you know great. I mean? It's fun. Are you, are you it's better me? than hanging out at a festival one day, playing for a bunch of people and having fun and playing your songs with people who love your songs. This is what it's you better want, gig. right? This is what you better gig. This is what all the work's for. This is <laughs> yeah. what you're wanting to do. Yeah. Like, enjoy doing it. Yeah. Like, here you are. Exactly. It's, it's like that thing, people not forgetting why they got into it in the first place. Yeah. I just don't, I don't get how you mess this up. Yeah, I really don't. No. Like, you know, like, <laughs> we've we've been getting a lot of people asking questions about like, because next year is our 20th anniversary as a band. Yeah, we're getting a lot of questions from people like, um, doing doing like press and stuff for this yeah. last record that are like, how do you guys do it, man? Is, is it like what, what? They don't get it. Yeah, I, I, it's because you love what you do. You're not punching the clock. You're having get, fun, man. You're playing get, on the stage and having a great yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. I don't get how you don't get it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't get how you mess this up. How you yeah. bring let drama and bad things kind of get in the way of, yeah. of doing what you want to do. Well, you know what they say, drugs and relationships, that's the things that can mess it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? As they know right from it. It can. No, that's it true. It can make it good too. You know what I mean with some, but I mean. Yeah. But, but I Start mean, a band with sane people to begin with. That, that, that's that, that's our first recommendation yeah. to everyone there. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, it's great to yeah, see yeah. you, brother, lot, man. always. Jim Atkins from Jimmy Eat World on Fan Pass.